Top story this hour, a scandal brewing as Washington's real stance on Ukraine may have leaked on the web, an alleged phone conversation between U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland and U.S. Ambassador to the Ukraine has appeared on YouTube. Let's get more from RT's Marina Portnaya live for us in New York. So, Marina, what did the two allegedly discuss? Well, what you hear these two high U.S. officials discussing is literally putting uh, members of the Ukrainian opposition, uh, moving them around like as if they were playing chess on how to configure a new government in Ukraine. The U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, uh, Jeffrey Payet, and the U.S. assistant secretary of state, Victoria Newland, were uh, trying to figure out who would be fit, who would fit best in what position. They said that uh, one of the opposition leaders, Yatsenuk, is the guy with the economic uh, experience and the best governing experience, that he's the guy that should be on the inside. When uh, with, They also mentioned uh, Klitschko, another opposition uh, leader, and uh, another, uh, one more, uh, Tseni Bok. Uh, those two, the two U.S. officials say that those are the guys that should remain outside of government. They even referenced uh, Klitschko as a uh, complicated electron in, in, in uh, the, the circumstances of creating a new government. They, uh, they said, uh, they mentioned even troubles that he's having in his marriage right now, how that could come into play with him having a role in the, you, the newly formed Ukrainian government. They spoke about keeping the moderate Democrats together. They also spoke about the fact that they need uh, something to make uh, their plan stick. Once they, uh, a new government is formed, if it starts gaining altitude, they need uh, some kind of, uh, you know, symbolism, be it a, a U.N. Uh, figure to come into Ukraine, uh, give a nod to it. Uh, they say if that doesn't happen, they said that the Russians could come in and torpedo any plans the U.S. is now putting in place for the new Ukrainian government. And was there anything else significant in the recording? There was uh, another significant, probably the most controversial uh, part of the recording, uh, is when they were discussing uh, an international personality to come out and quote-unquote uh, midwife this thing. They, uh, they said that uh, they'd rather have uh, a U.N. official come in and help glue this thing together, and then Victoria Newland, the assistant secretary of state to the U.S., uh, made a very controversial comment about uh, her European allies. Let's take a listen. So that would be great, I think, to help glue this thing and have the UN help glue it. And, you know, f the EU. Uh, so obviously that uh, created major headlines uh, instantaneously uh, after this recording hit YouTube. Uh, uh, the spokesperson for uh, the uh, State Department, uh, Jen Psaki, was fielding many questions at a press briefing uh, earlier on, uh, on Thursday. Uh, she said she insisted that uh, Ms. Newland actually apologized uh, to someone uh, in the European Union for the comments that she uh, made. Let's take a listen. We've been in close contact with uh, EU High Representative Ashton. Also, let me convey that uh, she has been in contact with her EU counterparts and, and of course, uh, has apologized. Uh, but for, uh, for these reported comments, of course. So you're not confirming that the comments are accurate? She's I'm just not going to speak to a private diplomatic conversation, uh, Arshad, but I'm obviously speaking to the content of the report. Ms. Saki went on uh, to to uh, charge and maintain a position uh, that the U.S. is not trying uh, to interfere with uh, Ukrainians' internal politics, Ukraine's internal politics. She insisted that you, the U.S. still believes that it's up to the Ukrainian people to decide their future and determine their path forward. Uh, while she said that U.S. officials have apologized for this conversation, she also hasn't confirmed the authenticity of this conversation. But when referencing the conversation, the kind of language that was used, uh, Ms. Saki also uh, made somewhat of a joke about where Ms. Newland uh, picked up uh, her, her words and, and her use of, I guess, curse words. Let's take a listen. You may know the story of how she uh, lived on a Russian boat for uh, about eight months when she was 23, and she learned how to perfect perhaps certain words in a couple of languages. So perhaps it speaks to that more than a pervasive viewpoint. You're not 
suggesting that she has a predisposition against Russia. No, I was suggesting that she learned Russian curse words and curse words on the fishing boat. This was in English. In English. She, I was making a joke oh, oh, about okay. her learning okay. curse words on a fishing oh. boat. Okay. That press briefing uh, was extremely heated. Uh, Ms. Saki was getting torpedoed with, with questions from uh, all the reporters in attendance about uh, what the, how this conversation took place, why the U.S. is trying to uh, mind, uh, mind the business of the Ukrainians' internal politics, why the U.S. is getting so involved. Um, this story clearly is a shock for many that are following uh, the, the, the Ukrainian situation and now seeing how involved the U.S. Uh, is and how much of a role it is trying to play in forming a new government. Obviously, this is just the beginning of the story. Uh, more may possibly come out in, in the coming days. We'll have to wait and see.